What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kyle and I do all things motorcycle related. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to go smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. So, some of you guys, if you have been on the channel for a little while, might recognize this bike. This is my dad's 2011 Street Glide. And you might be wondering why I'm out on his bike and not my Road Glide or the Sportster. So I am out on his Street Glide because you guys know us personally, or know him or me personally, you'll know that he's going through a little bit of a rough patch health-wise. It's nothing too crazy. I don't want to go into details, but uh, just know that he is unable to ride right now. So luckily, God bless us, he was able to do the Laconia trip earlier this year, as you guys saw if you watched the footage. Thank goodness that um, he was able to at least do that trip for the year to get some kind of riding in. So the Street Glide has been sitting in the garage for the last two months or so, pretty much ever since we got back from Laconia Bike Week. Um, luckily, he was very fortunate to have attended Laconia and have made the ride from Pennsylvania here to New Hampshire and to be able to do Mount Washington and all that. So his Street Glide is uh, just sitting in the garage. and. Uh, you know that's not good for anything to just sit around so I figured it's a nice night it's a Thursday night after work and just figured you know what let me hop out on the street glide it's been a hot minute since I have been on this bike and since I've been on a street glide in general so uh, I figured uh, let's go out for a little cruise and see if we can't make a video out of it so look forward to seeing the street glide in future videos because I have some uh, video ideas while I can use his bike. Might as well uh, take full advantage of it, right? So since it's been a while since I've been on a street glide number one, because you know I ride a road glide, and if you're a true OG of the channel, you'll know that I had a 2014 street glide. I owned that bike for five years. Most of that time was well before YouTube, so I don't really have any videos with that street glide, but uh, just a couple things like first being back on this one which is a obviously 2011 before the Mount Rushmore bikes one thing I'm realizing really quickly is how much I miss the gear selector with what gear you're in you know like obviously when I first started riding and all the previous bikes and stuff they never had that you know but it's definitely something that once you have it and once you start using it you really don't realize how much you rely on stuff like that so that's something like right off the bat that I'm kind of like whoa because even my 2020 Sportster now um, that has a gear selector so you can constantly see what gear you're in so that is definitely something that like I'm already realizing like damn man I really use that more than I think I do especially with like this little bit of traffic where like you're not you're like in between fourth gear and fifth gear so fifth to fourth fourth to fifth kind of just get distracted by paying attention to the road and you're like what gear am I in I mean you, you find out quickly when the RPMs either race up or race down and then you just shift accordingly it's definitely something that you uh, start using uh, a lot more than you think you do but one thing I will say is my 2014 Street Glide had the 103 high output motor and this has the uh, just the 103 it doesn't have the high output I guess the only difference between the high output and this twin cam 103 is the uh, high output just runs a different cam I believe but I will say for it being a 2011 obviously I'm on a 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 but hop into this twin cam 103 like this thing still has some spunk you know is it making a hundred horsepower no but like you can't sleep on a twin cam or the 103 because this thing still has plenty of power and it's kind of like catching me by surprise like for a 2011 man this thing's fun but it does definitely feels weird like 
the uh, just being back on a twin cam like the different motor sounds the different exhaust note you know like this just shakes a little bit more than my Milwaukee 8 which isn't a bad thing like I look at it more like you know if you don't appreciate this kind of bike right that Harley made for how long how can you appreciate a Milwaukee 8 everything advances in time so if you don't appreciate the past or appreciate the history you know you can't really uh, appreciate what we have today so I'm just up here through the game lands just enjoying life right now it's been a hot minute since I rode during the week on a beautiful day after work and on top of that when was the last time that I got to talk to you guys and record on a ride after work it's been longer than you think I'll tell you what something that's really hard to get used to especially when you're a creature of habit and you like things the way you like them is when you get on somebody else's motorcycle where the clutch release is at I always like mine like immediately like this is set probably like about halfway and obviously that's all preference like you can adjust that to just hop on people's bike like you can ride it but you'll just ride the shit out of that clutch until you get used to it but look at those views absolutely stunning it's always nice coming up here capturing these views they never get old that's for sure try to take a little picture while I'm out on the, the street glide take a picture for the gram So like I was saying, the views are just beautiful up here. Give you guys a quick glance. And the crazy part is, this is literally only 10 miles away. So to just kind of get up here and get in a peaceful environment for a little bit is always kind of refreshing. Especially after a long week of work. I mean, like I said, it's only Thursday, so I've still got one more day, but all right. Let's get back on this thing. Some people always ask, street glide or road glide? And uh, what I say to that is, man, ride them both. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you buy, you're not gonna be disappointed. That's kind of where I'm at on the whole stance. Oh, should we go through the water? I don't know, maybe if you click subscribe and like. Can I do it again? Yes, I can. If you guys like and subscribe, maybe I'll come back in another video and we'll take this thing through the water. Just kidding. I wouldn't take any bike through that dump water. This one we can't really avoid unless we go through the grass and we're not gonna do that. This is nature. Hopefully the gate down here isn't closed. Um, <laughs> funny story, so the one time I came through here around this time, on the good old Sportster. Oh, and the gate's closed. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we won't. Is this heavy enough? Ah, oh, yes. So back to what I was saying is, I came through here the one time on the Sportster, and uh, obviously, you know, the Sportsters only weigh like 500 pounds or whatever. So I came through there, and uh, obviously the Sportster wasn't enough weight to set off the little trip plate for the gate to open. So, I mean, I tried... So I tried everything. I tried moving the bike around. You know, I tried, like, you know, just come moving up a little and try to jam on the brakes to, like, force some pressure down on it. And, uh, you know, obviously it wasn't working. But luckily I only had to sit there for five or eight minutes and uh, another car came up so I kind of just waved them up and I was like yo you need to like get on this thing and then they uh, did and luckily I was able to get out without having to spend a night in the zoo luckily these street glides and road glides are big big girls so uh, and I just I say they're a girl I mean I don't know maybe it's gender neutral maybe it's a boy who knows 
I don't know, but I like to refer to my bikes as girls, so. All I know is it's a big bike, so luckily it set off the uh, gate. So I just wanted to talk about uh, some upcoming things coming to the channel. So, uh, all right, yeah, it's okay. You don't have to stop there. Yeah, those stop signs are optional, even for right turns. But back to what I was saying. So some things coming up for the channel. So in September, I will be attending the uh, Ocean City Bike Week or Delmarva Bike Week, whichever one you want to call it. I think they're both the damn same thing. But uh, I will be attending that. So if you guys run into me or my crew while we're there, feel free to stop me and say hello. I promise I won't bite. That always seems to be a good time. So hopefully it doesn't disappoint once again this year. So I got that going on. Some other things are I'm in talks with a buddy of mine. Uh, he hit me up about doing handlebars on his Sportster. We're kind of working through the details of my schedule and him get, uh, figuring out what kind of bars he wants and all of that jazz. But once we figure all that and hash all that stuff out, look forward to seeing a Sportster on the channel for a handlebar job. And uh, there's some other things that I don't want to talk about right now because they're still up in the air. But uh, you'll see them in future videos, so I can't let the cat out of the bag yet. Actually, by the time you're seeing this video, my Road Glide will have been in the shop for the compensator noise, I guess you could say. By the time this video comes out, I'll have a hopefully a better idea by then because it will be at Harley and they will rip the primary apart and see what's going on. And uh, I'll keep you guys informed in a future video. But nonetheless, I hope you guys are enjoying the, the views that we are capturing on this fine Thursday night. Let's open this baby up. Oh boy, I didn't see the cops sitting there. So I really don't know how much GoPro battery I have left because these things suck through battery life like water. I want to make sure I say goodbye before this video ends. So make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell icon so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this with the beautiful scenery of Pennsylvania and some nice Harley Davidson noise. And uh, make sure to ride safe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.